Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe now because I'm out of work. I'm trying to make this a little part-time income gig. Uh, this is something that I had an issue with and I looked for quite a while as to how to fix it. So, hope this helps. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. I really appreciate it. Really helps me out. Thanks for watching. All right, so here's the annoying problem Apple has created in their quest for security. They've made it so secure, it's unusable. And I really get annoying with this mindset from Apple. Uh, basically the forced obsolescence, uh, making things so secure that it's just a pain in the butt to do anything. Uh, part of the reason I like Mac OS is because, yeah, it's a desktop GUI on top of a Unixy thing that works pretty well. It's kind of a blend of everything, but they've really, in my opinion, just gone overboard with these concepts, and it's making the operating system very annoying. Um, so... Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. On that note, here's the issue that you have. You'll have a piece of software. In this case, I was uh, wanting to play a Steam game. And so it was coming up and saying, okay, you got to install this uh, extension. So it says, please click the allow button. I'm like, okay, great. Go to uh, system preferences. There's no allow button there. So what you have to do is you have to hit end all other programs that may be running uh, anything at the top of the screen that you feel comfortable ending, like you might not want to end your malware, antivirus. Uh, I don't believe I had to do that. I just had to end all the other programs. And the reason that that's done, uh, someone surmised this, and I, I believe it, is so that a rogue program can't click allow for you. So since there's no other programs running, then you'll be able to see the box pop up that says allow and that that's how it finally worked for me so you can see here that finally does pop up and I was able to install the uh, controller input drivers or whatever they're called uh, so that I could use my Steam Link with Mac OS and eventually did work kind of crappily but that's another video entirely so as, as you can see this should work for you and again this is on Mojave it's probably going to be have similar issues on Catalina and any other OS that Apple decides to push down the road that are so secure that you can't use them that's the most secure system just make it completely unusable you'll probably get this pop-up as well which basically means I believe that your 32-bit stuff will no longer work in Catalina who knows, I think Valve has a fix out for that, for some of the drivers and whatnot. Um, anyway, consult them. I believe they advise to have Mojave still running on your Mac. Like, just have a partition that has Mojave in it if you want to play your games, which is awesome, because everybody wants to reboot their computer if they want to play a game. Now, here's the package in question, the... Uh set up and the path to it. When you update Steam and you update your application and all that stuff, it'll download new versions of these packages or whatever it should anyway. That's my guess really. Uh, and so there you see the top where they are. Library, Application Support, Steam, Steam App Bundle, and there's other stuff in there. So you don't have to do all the rigmarole with your Steam link if you want to go in and do this, you can just execute this package, which is, which is what I did. And of course, the previous steps showed you how to make that work. Also in this folder, there's some audio drivers and other things that you may or may not need. Uh, this video doesn't really cover that. Uh, that's the subject for another video if somebody in the comments requested. I went ahead and executed it. It didn't fix my audio issue with the Steam Link, but it may have been the legacy because there's two other packages in there that are uh, installers for uh, audio drivers or whatever you want to call it. 